You know security is hard, so let's assume We're probably gonna get pwned by noon But if we all start to get the basics right We might not fully get pwned until Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the 7-Minute Security Podcast. My name is Brian Johnson, and uh, I'm excited today to give you kind of a crash course in installing LAPS, the Microsoft Local Administrator Password Solution. Um, What I'm going to focus on today is kind of the the, the GPO implementation side of things so that you can see how this actually gets configured and then pushed to clients um, across an Active Directory domain. Um, But you will want to look at the show notes for today's episode. Uh, So if you go to 7ms.us and look at the notes for episode 252, I've got more detailed written instructions as well as a link to a GitHub article that I wrote that really does does everything step by step. Because one of the first things uh, you'll do um, as part of this process is you'll extend the Active Directory schema. I'm not going to focus on that part. I'm really just going to get right to the uh, nuts and bolts of pushing the LAPS package. So I started out pretty basic here on my domain controller. I just made a root folder on the C drive called LAPS. And I set up the permissions to be pretty open. So uh, under the sharing tab here, I've uh, allowed everyone to have read access to this folder. I probably should really swap it out with something like domain users just to lock it down a little bit. But this is just a test environment. Um, so adjust, adjust accordingly as you move something like this into production. Um, And then inside, all I have there is the LAPS 32-bit and 64-bit installers uh, so that they can be reachable by any machine in the organization. Now, just to show you here in my Active Directory structure, very simple. I just have a OU called Pwn-Computers with a Win7, a Win8, and a Win10 machine inside of it. So just a small, simple uh, test environment for the time being. And then over here in my uh, group policy management, I set up two GPOs. Uh, so one is just to push the install package itself. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Um, what I've got is software settings configured to uh, assign two different packages. Here's, again, the 64-bit and the 32-bit package. Uh, but there's one important change to make on the 32-bit installer. Uh, so if you look at the properties of it, Uh, And then we go under Deployment, and then under Advanced, uh, you will want to uncheck the box here that says Make the 32-bit application available to Win64 machines. So that setting will help the right package get pushed to the correct bitted operating system, whether that be 32 or 64-bit. So make sure that, uh, that you make that change. All right, and then I've got one other GPO here, and really this could probably be all in one, but I just like to to parse them out. Uh, I've got a a GPO called LAPS Settings, and then inside of it, under Policies, Administrative Templates, there will be a LAPS folder here, and uh, there's just a few settings I turned on, again, just kind of following the the Microsoft Best Practices article. Uh, There's a Password Settings configuration option here that I set to enabled and right now I just check the defaults so we got a password length of 14 password age of 30 uh, with some password complexity requirements baked in that all looks good for now Um, and then the second setting that I enabled was uh, the last one on the list there the enable local admin password management Um, and that just basically enables the management of the password for uh, local administrator accounts. So we'll set that to enabled. Um, And then that should be about all we need to change to to start pushing this out to clients. So I'm just going to turn on the link for these two GPOs so that uh, clients start uh, receiving their settings. So let's just flip over to my uh, Windows 7 test workstation. And uh, I'm going to open up the installed programs list just to show that Local Administrator Password Solution is not installed right now. Uh, and then I'm just going to open up a command window and I'm going to, I'm going to issue GP update space forward slash force, which will force my machine to grab any new policies. And then uh, getting the LAPS package installed does require a restart to complete 
all the way. Uh, so I will just say yes to this and allow the, the box to bounce. And once it comes back up and we log in, we should see under the installed programs that local administrator password solution has been installed. There it is. Now because this machine is pretty much ready to go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one step further and I'm going to make this my lapse management box. Um, so I'm going to go back to where I stored those lapse packages and I'm going to choose to install the 64-bit one again um, just to show you that right now this machine will report that it has the GPO extension installed. That's the top item there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and choose that second drop-down for management tools and I'm going to install the full suite of management tools. And basically once that install finishes, what that gets you is another item on the machine called Laps UI. So I can pop that guy open and anytime I want to retrieve a computer's local administrator password, I just have to punch in the computer name. So let me see who am I here. I am Brian Win701. So I'm going to type in Brian Win701. Search and there is my machine's local administrator password. Now this is kind of cool here too. If you want to set set uh, the password to expire for whatever reason. I'm going to uh, set it for a few minutes in the future here. And then um, once that time has passed and my group policy has refreshed, which uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I will just force the update manually. Once the policy realizes, oop, we got to refresh that password, that'll be done without any intervention from, you know, help desk or whoever. And uh, now if I just search again, we will see that I have a brand new password. There it is. It's like super, super cool, right? Now, just to, well, one thing to emphasize, I had heard that Microsoft kind of got uh, some bad press on this initially when they released this tool because people were saying, OMG, OMG, uh, the local administrator password is stored as an attribute in Active Directory. Uh, it's game over, man. It's game over. Well, what, what you need to understand is two important things. Number one, um, this attribute is only queryable by, by users you specify. So, you know, domain admin, privilege, uh, domain admin users, for example, is, is uh, the, the base level of access that I have set up um, to be able to query this attribute. But also, if an attacker <laughs> has domain admin level access on your domain, um, the fact that they can query for local admin passwords is like the least of your problems, you know. It, it's already game over, it's already adding insult to injury. Um, so I, I don't think we should get our undies too much in a twist about the fact that this attribute is in Active Directory. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to show you again, just a high level, uh, trying to keep it around seven minutes overview of laps, but uh, again, be sure to go to 7ms.us uh, look at the show notes for this episode. Look at the write-up I did on GitHub. Follow it step by step, and I think you will have uh, a lot of success in your LAPS deployment. And if you need anything from me, or if I can help answer any questions, um, you'll uh, th there'll be a, s a slide to follow shortly here with all my contact info. So I hope this was helpful, and I hope you have a great and blessed week. And uh, talk to you next time. Bye bye. You've been watching or listening to an episode of 7-Minute Security, a weekly podcast focusing on IT and information security topics such as penetration testing, network configuration, virtualization, and career advice. For more information, visit www.7ms.us.